it's pantomime season, so I want booing and hissing when I mention the away side because it's Spurs at minus 230 against Everton at plus 500. Draw is at plus 400. Spurs minus 1.25 is minus 110. I mean, just minus one and a half because you need that minus one and a half. You need that two goal lead to actually get uh, paid. Over three at minus 122. Is this a free nil? Is it a free one? Spurs, I would look at it and go, Spurs dominate this game. Everton are absolutely dog awful. And even though it's only week two, I can see them being in the bottom three or four all season long. George, have you got Everton as being relegation candidates? Yeah, definitely. I, I obviously said last week that I thought the three coming up would be the ones going down, but Everton just showing in their first game, I, mm. I, they had nothing. They had nothing to offer at all. Um, and I think uh, this is why I backed Spurs to, to win here. Because although, you know, the reason why Spurs didn't, didn't win against Leicester is because they didn't take their chances. Everton, they're going to get a few more chances. I think Leicester... Defended quite well for, for for an extent, especially in the second half. But I don't think Everton have got that. And I mean, you saw how how they defended against against Brighton. It was it was embarrassing. And I, I, obviously, I backed um, a Spurs win as well as Salanki getting 1.5 shots over uh, shots on target over. And I think my point being, as I said, two shots on target, first 14 minutes. I think it was he got his third one in the uh, the 55th minute. I think it, it's it's there on against Everton. You're going to get shots. You're going to face shots, and and Spurs are going to win. I just like the way that Spurs play because it just points towards corners. They either score yeah, oh, or they're going to get Son. shots on or off target. You've got Song going down one side. You've got Johnson the other. You've got Madison pulling strings. You've now got a presence in the box as well in Solanke. Uh, I think they won 13-2 away from home against a counter-attack inside in Leicester on the corner count. And now... It's 3.5 for the full game, minus one and a half corners for, in Spurs' favour for the first half, Brad. Shots, crosses, good build-ups in the to the final third. They lend to corners. Um, first, I want to talk about last match and kind of uh, Ainge kind of putting his foot in his mouth right uh, before the season start. He said, "I generally win things in year two, and then uh, they drop points in match one uh, against a newly promoted side." But this, what he said after that match, kind of strengthens my attack in this match. He said, we have to be stronger in our mindset in the front third. Uh, to be wasteful is disappointing. We weren't clinical. To get results, you need to be more ruthless. How much more ruthless does this team need to be? They took a million shots. They had a million uh, touches in the box. Well, what's going to happen in this match? They're going to do more. They're going to play with more of a sense of urgency, which I thought they had a pretty big sense of urgency in the first one. Yeah. And I believe they're going to win this first half corner handicap. Looking at the numbers, you, you know, it's funny, like, because I, I think when we look at numbers, we kind of look at it as a whole whole season. Uh, we don't factor in play styles or tactics. They were only nine, nine and ten uh, in first half uh, home corner handicaps of minus one and a half. Right. But when they played against teams who had less than 50 percent possession, uh, they went to six and four. So you're going to eliminate the Liverpools. You're going to eliminate um, you're going to eliminate the Aston Villas. You're going to eliminate the Manchester Cities. Everton. Horrible, horrible, horrible in possession because they don't want to be in possession, right? They want to sit deep. They want to absorb pressure. They want to beat you on the break when they can. Um, so I think Tottenham at minus one and a half is a really glorious price. I I priced it somewhere between the minus one and a half, minus 1.75, I believe is what I had my numbers written down. Minus 115 is a good price. What's also, if you guys want to get a little bit more spicy, um, I did... I did want to monitor this line was Tottenham to win and both teams to score. But right now it's still too low. You're going to want to see if you get any more push buyback or pushback. It's I said I, the price is about plus 200 what you want. Um, I found this funny stat and this doesn't even correlate to what what I'm betting. But I thought it was pretty hilarious. Um, if you look at all of the players from last season and you take uh, the highest players with goal creating actions before you get to an Everton player. You have to go through 107 players. That means there were 107 more players who created goal-scoring actions per 90 than an Everton player. Um, Tottenham win this one. Uh, they probably win 2-1, 3-1. Everton find a lucky goal because Tottenham only kept, what, two clean sheets at home last season. Um, both teams to score hit in 84% of their matches. So, yeah, I, I think Tottenham uh, win this one. They, both teams to score. Um, but the best bet for me is Tottenham first half corner spread. Yeah, and that's the, that's the biggest danger because if you look at Spurs last season and we've got to go against 
uh, who they're playing this week in Everton being like the worst performance across Europe. Yep. Um, they're, they're just non-existent, Everton. But Spurs last year had to come from behind so, so many times. They went 1-0 down <laughs> in so many games. And then they won in the last 20 minutes. Listen, pricing this game up, I had Spurs at plus 350 to win this game only because I wanted to bet them with everything I've got. So I didn't really want the minus 200. <laughs> but they are, they are priced up correctly. Um, Solanke is another one who's very, very popular. Shots on target. I think he's plus 135 just to score at any time as well. It's all one-way traffic. And if Everton get anything out of this game, then I'm going to be asking questions because last week their midfield was 75 yards apart in the central areas. They were giving the ball away. and They miss Onana. Oh, they mi- listen, they miss so much. I mean, yeah. they miss... I, I was going to just roll back who Leighton Baines, um, who was the Australian lad that used to score the goals, uh, the headers and that uh, late on. But anyway, they miss everyone who used to play for them because they're just absolute dross uh, and we won't go near them again. Um, let's have a little look at the official picks because everyone here wants the home win and comfortable as well. Spurs money line and Dominic Solanke two plus shots on target at plus 206. That'll do you good. I don't mind that. Solanke scoring a couple. He's in my fantasy team and I've gone with him anytime goal scorer at plus 135 to score in front of his uh, the home fans on his home debut. First half Spurs minus 1.5 corners at minus 115. I have double dipped and I've gone with Spurs minus three and a half corners over the course of the game at minus 110 because they will have to keep going. And yeah, George and Harry both helping me out saying Tim Cahill. Ashton, if I'm right, Flash bigs me up every week for the season. Ashton, nice to have you. Uh, I say Everton wins. Ashton, as you finished, blocked. Never to be spoken about again. You lasted <laughs> about five seconds. Um, also, there was a poll put up very, very early from the chat. I don't, I couldn't agree with any of them, maybe other than Haaland to score twice. That plus 200. I thought we was going to do that at the end, so they're pretty live on the old trigger there. Let's- 